Hey everyone, welcome to Off the Press. Starting it off this week is Spider-Man, again. Again. Uh, so more. it opened uh, for previews this past week to not very spectacular reviews, to say the least. I, I think well-deserved, not rave reviews, mm -hmm. but uh, from what, everything that I've read, the three and a half an hour performance, yep. all of the different technical difficulties I've had, I think these are things that can be ironed out and it's eventually going to become, hopefully... Hopefully. A decent show. Some of the problems that I heard, though, is that it is also kind of boring. A, a not very exciting score. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think probably the best part of the score is what we hear in the trailers. Yeah, well, I think this, this happens because it's... A, this happens with a lot of rock musicals. It's, they very easily suffer from generic score yeah. syndrome. There'll be like two or three catchy tunes. Yeah, there'll be like two or three of the hits where you're going to hear like in the preview, and yeah. then the rest of the album's going to be crap. Yeah. So um, with the Spider-Man's release, they've released a couple of TV ads just, you know, mm. to promote the show. Uh, so we're just going to show part of one for you now, and uh, we'll tell you what we think. Spider-Man, turn off the dark. Visit Ticketmaster.com. So visually, that looked pretty cool. Like, yeah. for, for a stage show, that would be something I would want to see, but it also looks very cheesy. Which it looks really cheesy. I it's... think musicals have, you know, they've gone beyond the cheese factor now. People doing musicals are more or less trying to be less hello and the glitter and the jazz hands, you know? They, well, they're gimmicks, and it was mm -hmm. funny, uh, the guy who's in charge of getting all the money, uh, and I thought it was mostly a U2-funded thing, or yeah. a, a Bono and Ed thing, which turns out it was not. No. Um, but when the new guy had to go in and get 30 million bucks to keep the show going, he came up with a really good point. He said, you know what, we can do a $30 million show, but there'll be no web slinging. For people who are going to see a Spider-Man show, yep. they don't want to see a non-web swinging Spider-Man. You true. need that, therefore we have to have this extra $30 million. Yeah. And I think he was absolutely right. I have had a lot of negative things to say about this show, but... I, I really wanted to, to succeed and get over its yeah. technical difficulties yeah. when it opens in January. So it's got yeah. a little bit over a month to do that, and hopefully they can iron out some of the, uh, the special effects by then. And and I I do want to see it, and it's not just out of curiosity. It is now more, you know what? It's Spider Man on stage. I yeah. think I can get into this. It's funny how it's taken me yeah a year and a half a year, yeah, of, more than of a year. talking about how horrible this could be, and how it's just going to be a disaster, to finally come around to the point where I'm like, you know what? I think I'd like to see this. Yeah. Uh, so tickets um, are on sale now. Um, they range from seventy bucks to about three hundred bucks U.S. Yeah. Uh, they have to recoup a million bucks a week. A million bucks so. a week. So they have to sell out the 1,800-seat theater yeah. pretty much every night for them to uh, get their money back. So I'm going to be going to New York in May. Hopefully the show hasn't closed by then because I am buying tickets to this. Mm. It's going to be awesome. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and moving on to something that's definitely awesome, uh, the Microsoft Connect. That's Microsoft's Project Natal, or the little sensor bar, has sold 2.5 <laughs> million devices in 25 days. Pretty good. It's pretty fast. Uh, some yeah. bloggers have compared it to the iPad. It's like, oh, it's having faster adoption rates than the iPad. But it's like, these items aren't related at all. It's like, you know, I've sold, we've sold more Connects than we have cars. It's like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> There's also 150 bucks. So uh, this is... Pretty cool for yeah, so cool. affordable for what it is. Very affordable. Very interesting format, I think, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think the next thing really is going to be. Um, but is it the holodeck? Oh. Really? <laughs> like yeah, definitely. So this, the other game consoles, especially the PS3 and well, especially the Wii, definitely have to uh, have some catching up to do after what Microsoft just showed that they can do well. Yeah, uh, I mean, they've taken programming in there. Mm -hmm. You know, this is our strength. Okay, let's make a program that really hits it out of the park. Yeah. 
So, mm. and now the new releases for this week. <gasps> bum, 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 Pretty big week this week. Uh, in DVDs and Blu-rays, we have Night and Day. Um, you got Sorcerer's Apprentice, uh, which... Starring Nick Cage. <laughs> Uh, uh, and, we'll leave that alone. Uh, still, um, still Disney. We got the Fantasia and Fantasia Two Thousand combo pack, so you get both movies in one pack. Awesome. Uh, Twilight Eclipse. It's got a weird release date on Saturday. Yeah, which fourth. seems is it? Uh, I would assume they're going to have to be. Some you know, kind of I think it's because it. some stores do midnight launches, and not all twelve-year-old girls can stay <laughs> out on a Monday night past midnight, right? Oh, clever. Yeah. And in some kind of interesting uh, new release news, um, you can get Avatar on 3D Blu-ray only if you have a Panasonic um, Blu-ray player bundle thing. Um, so starting now, if you buy a special bundle for the Panasonic Blu-ray player, you can get the Avatar 3D Blu-ray. Uh, existing owners, you can I think you can print off a coupon and mail it in, and we'll mail you a, um, a Blu-ray. Sam, what's the big game coming out this week? It's Epic Mickey! Epic Mickey! Only for Wii at the moment, but when it was announced, it was announced for all three consoles, so we'll see what happens with that. Cool. Yep, and not very much interesting happening in theaters this week, unless you like chick flicks, in which case there's like four of them coming out this week. (laughs) This is your week. Definitely. And that's it for Off the Press.